Welcome to Yupari Gaming. Today I'm gonna, I think, finish up a scribing quest line and we are he heading to uh, Archmage's wing. So let's talk to the crow. You perch atop a mountain of accomplishments, an interloper no longer. You've unlocked the wings of the Netch, the Dragon, the Griffin, and the Indric. Now, only a final door remains. The unmarked door? Is it open now? It is, and beyond lies your final trial to restore the Scalarium. Your proctor for this test shall be me. As you may have already guessed, I am the last luminary who might lend their power to the scribing altar. Da, da, da. The final wing is your wing. The wing of the crow. When we first met, I said that it was up to the luminaries if you would be Ulfsild's inheritor. Now you face a test unlike any you have seen before. There is an echo of Ulfsild nearby. Listen to it, and then we fly. Let's get started. Congratulations! You've accomplished incredible things. Through you, my work finally lives on. Gather any allies you choose. We will see if the Crow deems you worthy. If you are the inheritor of the Scholarium. See you on the other side. It's time Congratulations! To You've accomplished incredible things. Through you... Okay, looks like the same. Same. Did I hear the crow say she's a luminary? I thought she was all still familiar. I suppose she could be both. Wait, hold on, congratulations! You're heading into your final trial! Ulfsid said I could gather any allies I want for this trial. Do you want to join me? I guess that makes sense, since the portal to get here was keyed to two people. And after all, it's my duty as a Knight of the Lamp to follow you into the unknown, to protect you from the dangers they're in. So you are with me? You're damned right I'll see this through to the end with you. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the Votary Commander and Guildmaster Galarian make of all this. All right, let's get in there then. Must be the crow's domain. Incredible. Maybe those echoes can tell us more. Hope so. Any attempt to save the Scholarium would only provoke Sheogorath. As far as I know, the Daedric princes know nothing of the luminaries. I have to seal this place away, so it feels like locking away parts of my heart and soul. I suppose, in some ways, it is. My inheritor could come from anywhere. From a distant era. A brighter time, I dare to hope. I trust the luminaries. They will ensure the right person steps into the role. I cannot... Put my... Uh, I don't know, that, that accent sounds so familiar. It's a little bit like German, I guess, at least some words. This ritual has taken everything I had and more. It worked, I think, and I will leave part of myself behind. Will it be enough for those that come after? Will anyone follow in my footsteps? I refuse to believe all this work was for nothing. Yeah, 
I, I go with German accent. These echoes must be from Allfield's final days here. They're so personal. And unfortunately, none are quite as instructive as the one she left in the Scalarium. If this, uh, this is part of the trial, what do you think they are trying to tell us? So far, they're just reinforcing what we already knew. Ulfsild sealed away the Scalarium to protect it from Shogora. Kind of lovely, actually, the way she said it was for the luminaries. And there was that bit about a ritual. Did you catch that? Do you know what ritual she, uh, she was talking about? Maybe it was the sealing ritual, something she left behind to protect the Scalarium. She described it as a piece of herself? Wait, the Echoes, look! What are they pointing at? Mystery curiosity, loyalty, protect charity, compassionate, make a wow. Wow, wow. Maybe there's something with the echoes in that book. See if they have anything more to say. Relationships do not lose their verse when they end. You can carry something with you in other ways. But while it lasts, there's such joy in loyalty to one's friends. How will you vow to respect them? I will take a while. Speak your vow of loyalty. I vow to protect those I care about. Your vow has been sworn. Kindness is like the first snow of winter. Get enough of it all at once, and soon it starts to stick. When I pass from this world, I'll never look back and wish I'd been less charitable. Will you vow the same? I will take a vow. Speak your vow of charity. I vow to be loyal to others to the end of my days. Your vow has been sworn. What lies always ahead of you, so you will never see it. What is always coming, but never arrives. Existence itself is a mystery. An unmapped territory spread out before you. Will you take a vow to explore it? I will take a vow. Speak your vow of mystery. I vow to be curious what lies ahead. Your vow has been sworn. I wonder if You this... have potential, but you do not understand yet. Ah! Is something supposed to happen? Try looking at the fable again. Maybe there's a connection Let's between see. the memory's name and a vow. They were given to protect me. Ah, okay, so I guess that's right. Of my friends in the forest, their gifts and magic will be shared with them in return. So I guess relationships speak your vow of loyalty. I vow to be compassionate. To those I care about. Your vow has you have given. Kindness is like the speak your vow of charity. I wonder is this compassionate? Yeah. 
I will I will go to with compassionate. But lies always speak your vow of mystery. Your vow has Okay. What? Here we wired my curiosity. Answer take the crow and these gifts for loyalty they were given to protect me they strengthened our friendship it's an awful lot of unexpected charity my friends are compassionate Relationships speak your vow of loyalty. Your vow. Let's try this combo. Kindness is like speak your vow of charity. Your vow. But lies always. Speak your vow of mystery. Damn. Mystery. But lies always speak your vow of mystery. Your vow. Kindness is like speak your vow of charity. Your vow. I might have an idea. Ah, no, 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 no. Relationship, speak your vow. Your. Mystery. Curiosity. But lies always speak your vow, your vow. And this is charity. Charity, compassionate. Kindness is like the speak your vow, your vow. And this was loyalty. So that's protection. Relation, speak your vow. You are and you are ready to take the next step. Our way forward. Now the real work begins. Oh, Labyrinthia. of our number by far right now my feeble lacks a fitting end i hope that you and nalia can change that 
Why didn't you tell us that you are lunim luminary of magic? Pin feathers, mortal. When we first met, I didn't know your quality. I spent many years in solitude, guarding and hoping to guide. Now, here we are. You, a worthy inheritor to Ulfzild's legacy. Me, the proctor in your trial. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Uh, what do I do? I shaped my domain to be the perfect trial space, based on Shalador's Labyrinthian. It will finally prove you are the one I have awaited. Showcase what you have learned in your journey to Master Scribing. We start here, in the Luminary Antechamber. What is the challenge here? Ulfsild named us Luminaries. Magical lights in the darkness. This puzzle asks you to set braziers ablaze in honor of that name. Just think back to your time with the dragon. You know everything you need to complete this puzzle. Good luck. Oh my god. This is amazing. The Labyrinthian, the real one anyway, was built by Shalador to test potential archmages. And now here we are. <laughs> the crow said we need to solve a puzzle to move ahead. Something with the praisers. I overheard. And she mentioned the dragon. Do you think it's another riddle? Magnus, I hope so. I bet this is an opportunity for you to use Ulfsild's lens to get things started. I look around. I'm here to help, my friend. Just talk to me if you need a quick way to put out the flames and start again. I've got a spell for that. Here we go. Right. Let's get into it. Okay. You did it! Beautiful. Hello, friends. But I bet that's You're not meant to go down. straight down. That's why I'm here. It's you! Hi, it's me. When the Griffin told me you'd entered the Crow's Wing, I knew you needed me. After all, Ulfsild told me you would. I'm supposed to help you get past this next bit. Ulfsild told you to help me. Yes, see? Just like your knight said, we're pretty high up in the air. The way forward is on the far side of this maze chasm thing. 
The path to get there is very narrow, and invisible, and mostly marked by scent. But that's why I'm here. How are you going to help me find the path? There are a couple of wards along the way. You reveal and break them, and I can dig, dig, dig to reveal the path. Easy. Remember, we have to move quick. And, uh, don't look down. Let's get going, then. Oh. I can sniff out the path as you break the wards. Dig, dig, dig. Here's a focal point to start you off. Watch your step. Adventurer, welcome to the end. You've overcome innumerable challenges, and you stand poised to fulfill the legacy left behind by Ulfsild all those years ago. You are the inheritor of the Scalarium. Thank you, Crow. 
What else is left to do to complete your trial? You've collected grimoires, scoured the world for scripts, and scribed powerful spells and skills. You have power, Inheritor, and I want to see you demonstrate it. How do I do that? No matter how clever or compassionate we are, we must fight for what we believe in. Gather your feathers, use what you've learned on your journey, and defeat the Beast of the Maze. Good we'll luck. See. <laughs> we'll see it done. Is it? <laughs> this! This I can do. Prove yourself, Inheritor. Oh, watch out! And you see a focus point! The old has to be conjured from a wall! What I wish to see. Autarioth could meet no more fitting end. Inheritor, you've come all this way on the wings of fables. Let me tell you one final story. In the last days of the Scalarium, Ulfsild's heart was filled with sorrow. She said as much, uh, much <clears throat> in her final echoes. Ulfsild gave up so much to develop the art of scribing. The Scalarium was her home, and the Luminaries were her family. On the precipice of losing everything, she spread her wings and soared. She enacted a rite, the ultimate act of scribing. What did the rite do? She gathered every scrap of evidence she found during her time with the Luminaries, and created one of her own. A wellspring of magic, the heart of the Scalarium, was expended through the scribing altar. And I was born. Oops, it created you. The scribing rite flashed the Archmage's mind upon the gathered power. And so, I am her. From that moment. I went from woman to crow, and had precious little time to speak with myself before the Scalarium was torn away. That's incredible. I am the Crow, a piece of Ulfsild left behind to see scribing past to you, to the world. The Luminaries, look! She wisely used her power to ensure her legacy. Ulfsild's keen mind ensured you could follow in her footsteps. She was a fierce protector, defiant for what she cared about most. Her compassion lifted everyone around her, just as it lifted you. I am the shadow of a singular person, a being born in sorrow, but filled with hope. I have soared on the winds of magic for centuries, to be here with you today, Inheritor. I was Ulfsild, it's true. But after all these years, I much prefer my feathers. Only two things remain. Who will tend to the Scalarium, and the location of the final sigil? 
The last bit of power needed to amplify the altar. What do you mean to tent to Scolarium? I have watched you and Nalia as you have struggled through the trials. Life is a maze. Legacies are a blessing. And the burdens of both should not be endured alone. You are a master of scribing, but I can already sense other adventures await you. That does, uh, does tend to happen to me. Indeed. Nalia, Knight of the Lamp. Do not shirk from my gaze. You have proven yourself side by side through challenges of the mind and heart. I would have you take up the mantle of the Scholarium's librarian, its master. I'll talk to her about it. Excellent. Then that just leaves my sigil. Ulfsild's sigil. After she completed the rite and left me to safeguard the Scholarium, she took that symbol with her. I sense its final resting place, along the water's edge in the hold of Eastmarch. Understood. Nalia and I uh, will seek it out. Hang on. Me? Tend to the Scalarium? What will I tell the Rotary Commander? In... In the meantime, let me get that portal to Eastmarch going. You'll do just fine. I don't see a sigil, but she did leave us an echo. It's all sealed, but she looks older, happier. It's been years since my time in the Scholarium, but I realized I never left a final message behind. As my life draws to an end, I've left a few things unsaid. I'm certain history won't carry on my name. I never sought recognition. I created scribing to understand magic better, to understand myself better. But of course, my journey did not end when I left the Scholarium. Hmm. The ritual to create a luminary took an enormous toll. It took years to recover, and Shaladorf was long gone by that point. It was a dark time. But it wasn't the end of my story. Dark chapters are just that. Moments in time. Downturns in the tale. I see. Things got better. I found new purpose. Students eager to learn. New partners in research. And new partners in life. When I was a young woman, I was obsessed with the Scholarium. With the power of the luminaries. Right. As I cast this echo, surprised how easily the magic came back to me. I have much to be grateful for. I'm a respected hedge wizard in Skyrim. They know me only as a compassionate, wise teacher. Hmm. Which brings me back to you. I know you didn't walk this path alone. I made sure of it. I hope it was worth it. Take from this place the sigil of the crow. And knows that Ulfsild the Evergreen never forgot her magical friends. Thanks, Ulfsild. My days will end soon, I think. But they end happy. With me at my little desk, in my little home, scratching away in some journals. My fable, my story, ends where it began. Now go, and scribe your own. I will. We will. I promise. Ulfsild gave up so much when she left the Scalarium behind. It sounds like she found her own path in the end. Makes me feel better about... all of this. All of what? Well, the Crow wants me to be the master of the Scalarium.
She wants me to step into Ulfseal's boots. It's a bit overwhelming. Those are some big boots. But knowing how much Ulfseal dealt with, all she went through and struggled. You want to try and live up to what she did. You said it. Describing the Scalarian. It was her life's work. If I can help keep it going, maybe even bring it to others through the guild. I can think about that later. Let's get the sigil back to the altar. Finish what we started. Right. Let's head back. One last portal for you, my friend. life after the Scalarium, Pro. I'm relieved to hear it. The altar is yours, Inheritor. Does this mean we'll be moving on? Not that I don't love the smell of old tone dust. That's up to my colleague here. Nalia, what's your plan? I think... I think I'm going to stay on here. See what happens if we open the Scalarium to the world. You know what? I think maybe, just maybe, my parents might be impressed with me next time I go home to visit. Are you going to become the Scalarium's librarian like the Crow wanted? I'm going to start by convincing the Votary Commander to keep me assigned here. Scribing is a lost art form because Ulfseald worked alone and in secret. If we open the doors of the library to the guild... Do you think the guild will take the... take the scribing? If there's one thing about the adepts of the Mages Guild, they love an intellectual puzzle. Maybe someday, there might be an altar like this one in every guild hall across Tamriel. But... that's for tomorrow. Today... We owe you an enormous thanks. It was quite a journey, Nalia. The altar is completely restored. Every wing of the Scalarium is open and humming with power. And it's all thanks to you. Together, you and I returned scribing. Returned Ulfseal's legacy to the world. I can't wait to see what you make of it. How do you feel about us opening our doors for the guild? Okay. Letting the world appreciate Ulfseal's legacy firsthand. This... I believe Ulfseal the Evergreen would have loved that. What this looks like. So, let's see what do we have. damage more magic damage sage's remedy preach and resolve let's see uh, where was it here Chroniclers in the main. So there is elemental explosion, 
Menders Pond. So Soul Burst, I already have it. So now I can. Can succeed in the purchase. No idea what that gives. Uh, Class Mastery. Signature with class achievement means, but uh, we'll see it later. Anyway, that was. Oh, wait. What's this? What this sells? Ooh. Ooh, nice. Okay. Anyway, that was a uh, whole scribing quest line and a uh, whole system is coming online live server next Monday or in, in fact was already. Yeah, I totally forgot that <laughs> when this comes out it, it's already long gone. So I uh, I hope you really enjoy uh, scribing. It's a little bit uh, time-consuming on first character. Luckily, you can you uh, you must only down this uh, second part, which is this uh, wing thing is only with one character. But anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on next one. Bye.